Hello, this is Xiangning Wang, and our topic is targeting make sample efficiency in auction design. This co work with Yi Hang Hu, Yi Hang Shen from Tsinghua University, and my supervisor, Zhi Yi Huang from the University of Hong Kong. Our problem setting is to consider a seller selling an item to N buyers. The value of each buyer is assumed to be drawn at independently from a distribution. In other words, the value profile is a value vector that is drawn from a product distribution D. Then we define the utility of seller and the buyer. Let B be the bid vector where each BI is non-negative and is the bid submit by the buyer BI. Let xi denote the probability that bi gets the item. Let pi denote buyer i's expected payment. We use a quasi-linear utility function. That is to say, each buyer s utility is its expected value minus pay, is expected payment. The seller's utility is simply revenue and the seller's objective is to maximize the expected revenue. Given our utility definition, we are able to focus on dominant strategy incentive compatible and individually rational mechanisms. That is to say, those ensuring that any buyer's utility is non negative and maximized if we truthfully report the bid equals to the value, regardless of the values and strategies of other buyers. Hence, in the rest of the paper, we assume bi always equals to vi for every buyer i. Next, we move to the literature review part. The first model we consider is the full knowledge model. Assuming full knowledge of the prior distribution d, Myers in 1981, characterized the revenue optimal auction by introducing the notion of virtual values. Definition is as follows. Here, fi and the big fi is a cumulative distribution function that cdf and small fi is probability density function. In his work, Myers observed that the expected revenue of seller is equal to the virtual welfare defined in the right hand side. Therefore, to solve this problem, the key point is to obtain virtual value phi. However, it is usually impractical to know exactly D. Cole and Ralph Garden in 2014 in their models suppose we no longer have full knowledge of D, but instead we can assess the distribution D through IID samples. They investigate the number of samples necessary and sufficient for learning a 1 minus epsilon optimal auction. In general, it is difficult and costly to estimate virtual value if we do not know exactly the distribution D. Given this definition of virtual value, it's hard to estimate it with small error. In subsequent works to seek new methods and improve the bounds, there has been a long line of research in this direction. Notably, Morgan Stan and Ralph Garden in 2015 borrowed the tools from the field of learning theory to avoid the estimation of virtual values. Huang et al. in 2015 borrowed the tools from information theory and proved that if D and D prime have small statistical distance, then the optimal revenue are close to each other. Devin Lu et al. in 2016 proved another important property in this problem called revenue monotonicity. If D first order stochastically dominates D prime, then the optimal revenue with respect to D prime is at most that of D. Gu et al. in 2019 obtained the optimal bounds up to log vectors. Our contribution is to 
introduce a new model called targeted sampling model. We initiate the study of targeted sampling in optimal auction theory. Concretely, we propose a model where the seller may assess the prior of each buyer via a targeted sampling oracle, which takes a range as input and returns a sample value within the range. For example, it allows us to collect samples conditioned on B in the top by over two by over three portion. We quantify the targeting power with the parameter delta in between zero and one, such that the targeting portion range must have length at least delta. Let's see some diff different choices of delta. In the case of delta is one, the model has no targeting power and it degenerates to the cold rough garden model of IID samples. In the extreme case, when delta is zero, we call it targeting query model. This model has the most powerful targeting power. It was studied by Chen et al. in 2018 using a very different approach from us. In this paper, we mainly focus on cases when delta isn't sufficiently small. The exclusion of arbitrary small intervals is motivated by potentially privacy regulation. Further, the data holders in information markets may not be able to answer arbitrarily fine grade queries in general. Our motivations are from two points. First, there may not be any single comprehensive data set that could provide data equivalent to IID samples. For example, the data set may only contain the top 1 over 2 portion of data. We may need to aggregate different data sets. For, from the technical point, the lower bound instance given by the state of the art work by Guo et al. in 2019 suggests that IID samples are usually wasteful in the sense that most samples are irrelevant for lending a nearly optimal auction. Our results are summarized in the following table. We study four families of distributions, 0-1 bounded, 1-H bounded, regular, and MHR distributions. MHR is monotone hazard rate distribution. Targeted sampling with even my targeting power is strictly stronger than IID sampling as shown in our table. Further, we also extend the targeted sampling model in single buyer case. Our results, again, are shown in the following table. We can see that our result is still much better than that in sample complexity model. Our main technical lemma shows why targeted sampling model can indeed reduce the number of samples. It proves that in general, only O tilde one in NID samples matter on average. The following lemma called very few top samples matter. There exists some thresholds DI for every buyer I, such that the summation of all theta I is big O tilde one and Almost all the optimal revenue comes from the top theta i portion of each i's prior distribution. To illustrate this lemma, we show two simple cases to understand this lemma. First, if there is only one overwhelming buyer, we can safely ignore all other buyers. In this case, only one theta i is one and other theta i's are simply zero. Then the summation of all theta i is one, which is satisfied. And second, if all buyers have the same distribution, then each buyer has an equal chance to win. We know that for large n with high probability, the winner will fall into the top about y over n portion. This is to consider the fact that 1 minus 1 over n to the power of n 
is converged to a constant given a large value of n. We believe that this lemma shows a very important property of this problem and make use of the problem structure to solve it. If we know all theta i, we can truncate each distribution di from the bottom and using the threshold theta i. However, this result is only existence, not constructive, and each theta i is not known to us. Therefore, we need another lemma to solve the problem. It is called the sandwich lemma. The lemma says that there are distributions di tilde, which is dominated by di for every buyer i, such that the optimal revenue of d and d tilde there for the two product distributions, the revenue are absolutely close to each other. And second, aggregating epsilon to the power of two samples from the top theta i portion of each buyer i's distribution for different theta i gives a dominated empirical distribution ei between di and di tilde. That is to say, di dominates ei, the, our construction dominates di tilde. We are able to construct empirical distribution EI using targeting separate oracle in our model, satisfy the domination condition. Here, DI tilde is simply to truncate the bottom one minus theta i portion of DI to zero. Recall our first lemma because only very few top samples matter. We know that the tilde's optimal revenue is close to the optimal revenue of D. By D dominate E dominate D tilde, we know E's revenue is also close to the optimal. Therefore, if we design auction based on our constructed distribution E, the algorithm output is not far from the optimal output in this problem. And therefore, we have given a solution of this problem under our new targeted sampling model. Let's take a look at our proof sketch. The DI, EI, and the DI tilde are as shown in this picture. For all I, DI dominates EI dominates DI tilde implies our algorithm auction based on our constructed empirical distribution E is at least the optimal revenue of D tilde. Then D tilde by the very few top samples meta lemma has almost revenue of D. In this method, our construction of E helps us to save a factor of N in the targeted sample complexity compared with the IID sample complexity. Further, in our paper, we show that we can save more on epsilon factor for a better construction of E. Finally, that's all of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching.